Okay, special Halloween edition. I thought today I'd make a track in the vein of John Carpenter, kind of goblin, retro horror style. So, yeah, so I'll, I'll go through the instruments that I brought in and we'll try to do this pretty quickly just for fun. But I um, also want to use this, my uh, skull shaker. So that's another uh, requisite for the track. So yeah, let's uh, got some Halloween colors in here. So I love, you guys know that I love horror and I've done a bunch of scores, but um, so especially like retro stuff. So, so I thought for this, I mean, the things that you hear in most of these tracks are this kind of like synth. So I got some latency, but I'll have to deal with that. So, you know, we get that kind of thing. And then I got this low synthy bass. So I think that'll come in handy. I think I put some, uh, got some delay on there too. So if you look at the, uh, let's look at the channel here. Yeah, I got some EQ. Well, that's not doing anything. No, actually, I with the EQ taking out some of those real lows, uh, just kind of rumbly stuff. And I got a H delay on here. Do dotted eights and some Valhalla vintage verb, really long reverb. Got a nice tail. So I also got some cheesy drum tracks here, <laughs> but I think I'm going to use these toms. And this is like the built-in reverb. I'll show you what this is. These are just the uh, drum tracks, vintage drums. So this is an old like 80s, 90s electronic kit. I'm going to use this snare. This is a Uzi bass drum. It's like a, he's a trap guy. Um, so I got some of his samples. So I'm not sure which one I'm going to use here. Probably just simple, like a thump like that. Or maybe that one. That's a good one. Remember that. It's A. Okay, what else? Oh, some noise effects. This is from the giant, the piano. So we got some good noises I'm gonna use. Skull shaker. So that's the audio we're gonna bring in. We're just gonna do my shaker. Met arc. So I figured these would come in handy. Half step down. And some low clusters. It's kind of dry. Put something on this channel here. We're just trying to do this quickly. It's not. So let's just. We're gonna do a large hall. I like the Amsterdam uh, classic. Concert grand. Some Valhalla on it. So I figured I'm gonna do some low notes here, and then also some highs here. All right, so let's see, what are we gonna do here? Some kind of, something like that. What's our tempo? Click here. Yeah, that's good. That. This is a like Phrygian mode. Just E, keep it simple here. Yeah, something like that. Let's do that. I like that. Let's 
gonna probably repeat that. The lag is really bad. It's not my playing. <laughs> um, read notes. That's fine. So I got all this stuff on the iPad now. I should show you guys, but. Um, so I got a lot of cool uh, stuff I got from Jason Graves. Um, you guys should check out his channel. I'll put a link up there. Um, and I became a Patreon, which is only like a dollar, but he gives you all these cool resources. So I got a lot of cool stuff for the Metagrid. So I'm using a lot of his, uh, his like logical stuff, logical presets. <coughs> All right, so let's, uh, so we're just going to copy that a bunch of times. So yeah, it's going to go through twice and then we'll probably, we'll come in with that low piano. Maybe some kind of hit, like a boom. Yeah, that's good. So after two, here we go. Yeah, that's good. Might want to. I want to double that with the synth. I think. So let's see here. Got the Yamaha Bass Monster. This is from a uh, um, Omnisphere. Compensate for that lag. I'm playing really early now. <laughs> anyway, it's because we're um, cause I'm recording there. So yeah, let's do the bass drum with that too. So I think I liked not that. Yeah, just that thump kind of. Just going for that old school kind of, almost like 707 or like um, that kind of vibe. I'm trying to think what other drum machines that were back in the day, but my brother actually had a 707, um, which was pretty cool. We used to do stuff on our, the four track. Now we need some kind of like eerie sound and maybe those strings too, the clusters. So, so maybe some effects here. Yeah, something like that. Kind of like that. Let's try that. <laughs> We're just having fun. Definitely anything with an echo for this stuff is good. <laughs> like the Jason kind of stuff. I 
that's good, then we'll hit again. Bring this in again. Not there, we'll wait another two for that. So yeah, do we want these clusters here for the... So yeah, let's add some of uh, the clusters here. Here. Oh yeah, the, maybe the, some high piano. Yeah. So. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, here we go. Piano by itself, the measure after. I mean, the two measures after. I played that on the beat, but just anyway. Yeah, I think that adds a lot. Classic horror vibe. Yeah. So yeah, let's cycle that again. So here I want like a beat to come in, I was thinking. And then also the classic thing with these tracks, oops, let me get back to the synth. Just to go down a half step. Yeah, and then for this one, we'll go down a half step. Oh, that's a classic thing to do. So this kind of thing. Okay, so let me copy that. So we need the piano in there too to give that a more of a attack there. Here we go. Do some piano here. Oops. I'm trying to move quickly with this. piano Don't 
Do I want to do the rhythm there with the heart? Like, ba, ba. No, maybe this the one is good. I think. I want to overdo that rhythm. <laughs> so I'm thinking for, um, I want to use these Metropolis Arc, uh, Drive me nuts. I don't know why it's so bad today. So I'm playing F, right? Because it's falling to E, and then the E because it's falling to E flat. So that's why I did it that way. Good. Yeah, I like that. So what, we might as well put the clusters in maybe for the rhythm. Ba, ba. That's good, that's good. So reinforce that piano there. Good. So let's cycle this again. Okay, so we need some kind of, I want some kind of cheesy like 80s beat here. <laughs> Just kind of like driving. So definitely snare on like the two and four. All right, that's the snare one. So yeah, just two and four, here we go. Sorry, the lag is so bad. I can play drums, I promise. <laughs> uh, sometimes when you're streaming, uh, it's, uh, you get that lag. So for the bass drum, it's an A, I think, right? Since it's so laggy, we're just gonna um, do this like this. Um, Maybe put some cheesy toms in there, I don't know yet. But, also, I want some of those uh, noise effects back in. Try to use different ones. 
actually like that. I'm gonna stick with that. I'll have to start thinking about the next section. Okay, so for the next part, since we're in E, we're probably going to go to maybe A minor. We're not E fridging. This is like all white keys, but whatever. So let's think of something in A for the next part. So that repeats twice, so that's good. And then, uh, Maybe just like a upward scale here. Well, let me get to that. Actually, I want to go. It's going to be A Phrygian. I want that low. I'm hearing that lowered second here. Something like that. Maybe with some kind of tag at the end. Yeah. Let's do that. Oh my god, this leg. God. Yeah, I like that. It's kind of break here. a big hit and then a Same thing in the low piano, obviously, and high piano for that matter, but get to that. This is a little high, I want this lower. Actually, you could do octaves. Nah, maybe this. Actually, yeah, low octave on the piano. What the heck is this? Okay, let's see what this So obviously, high piano there too. These, I mean, these are classic like horror tropes, right? For that old 80s sound, which I guess is big now again. It's like Stranger Things and things like that. That's good, that A there. Let's do it.
Now do I want it there or no? Another piano effect there. Kind of like that. Oh, that sounds like an A, actually. Uh, oh, it could be. That could work. Let's try that. And I think actually, believe it or not, I'm going to take out this high octave here. Because the synth is doing that. I don't want to interfere with that. So let's do that. Okay, but let's put this uh, piano effect in. Alright, let's hear this transition before I go any further. So we're coming from here. Hearing some kind of a halftime beat and sort of a descending um, let's just copy a couple of those descending bass here like a Phrygian cadence. Let's try that. Then we're going to do like a breakdown coming back to the A section maybe. Let's see. Pretty cool actually. You see something here? Yeah, I want those attacks, so I think putting a little space 
between each note is good. Actually, let me do uh, another passing tone here before I get to that F. So that sharp too, just because we're doing that chromatic descending thing. Which I think is working. And we're going to double that, obviously, with the piano. Um, do I want these octave down? I think so. So with the piano, right, we're going to keep on that high A there, with the high piano, rather. Or a C, maybe. I don't know, C or A, let's see. Let me just try it. try this here. Oh, we're gonna do the A. So basically it's just this again. Actually, hold on. So let's uh, shift this over. Now let's put the beat in here. Half time, so so snare on three.
Then we're gonna pick it up after this. But. Dun, dun. Okay, right there, no snare. That's gonna be like a kind of a um, just a hit there before we go into the break. So the bass drum. Something like a. We're definitely going to probably throw some toms in here, too. And then, just a hit here for this. So. We need some kind of noises here, I'm not sure yet. breakdown here without the um, top synth part and I think it's time to bring in the skull shaker oh but how am I gonna do this with the leg uh, that's gonna be tricky well we're just gonna have to move it over I guess Give us a chance to work with some uh, the Cubase uh, audio and capabilities. So we're going to go back to double time. Um, so I'm just going to bring that snare in there. Actually, you're gonna start with the B in this section. Kind of like cool breakdown thing. Let's see. Patient. Right. Oh my God! What I meant to do? Well, what I. this yeah that yeah exactly and this is going to also feature I was thinking these things to
we'll go back to that. Probably the bass too. That's a long. Maybe only high piano, not the low piano. I just want to more feature the synth. strings there and the shaker <laughs> this is fun oh man all the cliches okay <laughs> Sound effects like uh, this is where this. We're gonna do the shaker eventually too, but this. We have a lot of room for sound effects here. Something like that maybe. Let's do that slide. Where is it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. with the snare there in the last one. Make sure that slide is in the right place. Why do I keep hitting the wrong? Okay. Yeah. Let's check that out, hold on. Nice. Something like that, that would be good.
work with this. So you think this is late? Let's see. Come on. Oh, that's early. Has to land on the beat. in the whole section. Oh, we gotta put the shaker in. Let's put some like toms in there. Hold on, let me uh, copy this down. Let's put the shaker in here. So let's see. Okay, I couldn't figure out how to do the shaker and uh, like record that and use the same microphone setup to stream. So, so whatever, I just did that. But I'll play it for you. And what I this is pretty cool, but because of the latency. Actually, I wasn't getting as much latency, but but it has this cool. Um, it shows you the hit points right as you record the part, which is really cool. And then you can um, quantize it. So I just did that, made sure it was everything was good. So finally, we're just going to probably just come back to some hits at the end on this, um, this, uh, so let's just 
just bring that over. So yeah, we're pretty much done. So the video is probably longer than I intended, but that was, hopefully you guys find that fun anyway. And if you ever have to make a track like this, for some reason. Track's about two minutes. So yeah, obviously we could add a lot and, and really uh, flush it out, but I think it's a good start for this kind of track. So yeah, let me play the entire track for you guys. And then, uh, yeah, that'll be it. Thanks for watching guys hope that was uh fun for you guys had a lot of fun and yeah i probably um like i said flush it out a little more i think uh especially this uh descending pattern right now it's something missing here i can't quite uh actually you know what i was thinking Yeah, it just needs some sort of maybe some percussion there and uh yeah i mean maybe even the shaker there but <laughs> anyway so yeah we'll see you guys in the next video if you haven't subscribed please do that and also hit that bell for uh, notifications uh, i'd love to to have you join the community if you have any questions or comments yeah we'll see you in the next video Bye.